today we're going to learn about the Pythagorean Theorem. This is named after a Greek man who was born 2,500 years ago. Some people think that people from China or Egypt or maybe another country invented this theorem. People really don't know who invented this famous formula. but it really doesn't matter who. What's important is that we can still apply this theorem today. This formula only applies to right triangles. Where can you find right triangles? You can find them anywhere. Bridges have right triangles. Yeah. Houses have right triangles. Buildings have right triangles. Can you find the right triangles? You see the ladder? Can you find the right triangle? Have you enjoyed watching this video? Then please give it a thumbs up down below. Thanks. This has a right angle. Right there. 90 degrees. Watch our other video about right angles right up here. What is A? That's this line right here, right next to the right angle. What's B? That's this line right here, right next to the right angle. What's C? That's this line right here, opposite of the right angle. What does this formula say? A this line squared plus B, that's this line right here, squared equals C. This line right here, squared. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now, I'm going to show you an example problem for us to solve. This line A equals 3. This line B equals 4. And this line C, well, we don't know what that is. We're going to have to find that out. We're going to have to solve for C. How do we solve for C? We use the Pythagorean Theorem. A becomes 3. And the B gets replaced with a 4. C, we're not really sure of what that is, so it's going to stay as C squared. Next, 3 squared. Hmm, 3 squared means, oh, that means 3 times 3. 
3 times 3 equals 9. Next, 4 squared. 4 squared means 4 times 4. 4 times 4 equals 16. Next, what are we going to do? We add up 9 and 16. 9 plus 16 equals 25. Hmm, the c square, that means, oh, that means c times c. Which equals 25. c times c means a number times the same number equals 25. Hmm. Number times the same number equals 25. Hmm. Oh, 5. 5 times 5 equals 25. C equals 5. And we're finished. Did you enjoy the video? then give it a thumbs up down below. We'd really appreciate that. And watch our other video about the Pythagorean theorem right over there. Thank you. Good luck.